Hello everyone. So this is going to be a unique kind of video. I've had people ask me, hey, Cecil, Arosatia, Alistair, how do you get your game to look that pretty? Well, it's no secret that, uh, same thing with Final Fantasy XIV, uh, Dragon Quest X uses a gray filter. Uh, depending on your TV, monitor specs, how you adjust things, all right, you may see more or less of that gray filter, but it is always there. That gray filter is a resource-saving technique. The game was originally made for the Nintendo Wii, after all. I don't know if it's going to get a graphical upgrade anytime soon, like Final Fantasy XIV apparently is going to have in 7.0. Yes, you just announced it. They are giving it a graphical upgrade in 7.0. So for Dragon Quest X, we got to rely on Reshade. So after you download your Reshade, you're going to run it. Next, you need to find the game. If it is not on your list, it most likely will not be. As you can see, it is not there. We will instead need to find it. So. We'll go to your Dragon Quest X folder. You will go to Game. Select Dragon Quest X Game EXE. Select Next. You want DirectX 9. Since I already installed mine, it allows me to just go ahead and modify. So here it's going to ask to install. You click next on it. Okay, if for my case, it's going to be modified because I already installed it. I'm just upgrading it to a higher version. From here, you're going to get a bunch of effects. I already got what I want and what I need. Uh, you can basically take the standard and sweet effects. And then you can take whatever else you want. But these two should have everything that you could possibly want. So. Hit next. You finish. Great. Now. We're going to go into the game. I typically like to run it in Japanese admin. In case I run into any quests, I have to use the send the chat tool on, or I have to type out in Japanese. That. And don't be getting any funny ideas about my ID. I use two-factor authentication. <laughs> Since I updated the reshader, it is now compiling the new effects. And it brings back what I usually use. So now I run the usual clarity. You don't have to go through this, obviously, but... Once you have the... Yeah, uh, reshade on, it's on. don't like to use Akman, but uh, I do, so. Way better than crashing a cutscene, especially if I'm trying to record a long video. Right?
Okay, so. Once you log into the game in any capacity, I would honestly go into a colorful room of some sort. I think the hero's room is pretty colorful, don't you? So, this is with the reshade off. Reshade on. Now, when you first log launch reshade, it's going to have the tutorial up there telling you what buttons to press. So, once you've gotten through the tutorial, you're going to go to home, and you're going to select me pretty much reshade present, unless it's already been placed on there for you. Now, what I typically have is these options. So, if you want to make yours look more like mine, go ahead, get those options toggled on. Fake HDR one is something I like very much. And Luma Sharpen sharpens the image. Keep in mind, okay, any post form post processing can be taxing on both your CPU and your video card. So if you're struggling to run Clarity with your current processor as is, all right, you might want to have a frames per FPS checker loaded, like from Bandicam or whatever other tools running and be out in an open field with a lot of busy stuff going on it to check to make sure that your frames stay at 60 per second while you're adjusting stuff. While you also have clarity on. So, once you've made your adjustments, then that's it. You can also make fine adjustments here. Pretty much you have all these meters and bars here for each particular option that you choose. They should have an option to make adjustments to it based on your preferences. For example, make it much brighter, and make it much darker. I prefer it around there. Also, very important, you want to make sure that you're always running the game in some sort of administrator mode, otherwise this could break and it's just going to keep repeating a message up top saying, hey, I can't load this for some reason, blah, blah, blah. So if that happens, you want pretty much the first time you run this, again, do it in administrator, you go to your settings, you set your toggle key, this one being the most important. So if you get a angry little message up top telling you, hey, something's wrong, blah, 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 but your reshade is clearly working, make sure you have this bound to a key. By default, it has no bound key. I put it to Shift F4. What that does is it reloads the reshade. And then that angry message goes away. And that is it. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. As always, if there are any tutorials or whatever you want to request from me, just go ahead, DM me about it, and I'll see what I can do. Thank you, have a good day.